The long wait is over. Finally, Injustice 2 glitches. So welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're going to be covering the first two Injustice 2 glitches that I found in the game. So essentially, this these glitches will help you get power gems, uh, power credits, arena medals, whatever you're focusing on that you're trying to get, you can get um, more daily than you did before. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start up in Injustice 2. So the first glitch is the daily log on rewards glitch. So I'm going to speed through this portion, the loading screen here. And uh, I'll meet you at the daily login reward screen. All right, got through all that. Um, gotta wait for the loading to, to finish up. But essentially, this glitch allows you to pick which reward you get for your daily login rewards. So you can see here that I've logged in, and you know it's telling me that I got a new um, daily login reward. And today's reward is the um, arena medals, and it's five, which sucks. Not really sucks, it's, but you know it's kind of useless for me because I, I don't want the arena uh, medals. I want twenty-five gems. That's what I want. So, how do you get the twenty-five gems without waiting however many days this is to get them? Right. So, all you have to do is literally. Um, have your oh i've have a cat here anyway so all you've got to do is go to your settings menu and go to general this is the same for android as well you just uh, i just don't know how to get to your uh, date and time options but essentially you go to date and time you turn off set automatically and move the date ahead any amount of time so i'm just gonna randomly pick june 2nd so then you swap back to injustice 2 And it should uh, force close on you, as you can see it just did here for me. Um, so then you reopen Injustice 2 up. Uh, again, I'm going to speed through the, uh, the intro here, the loading screens. All right, so we're loading in here again. Hopefully um, the rewards will pop up any second here. Loading, loading, thinking, and you can see that we're on our next daily logon reward. So let's run through it again. Um, essentially, if I want to get now to the next logon reward, I just have to move the clock again forward another set of, like any amount of days, just make sure it's, you know, in the future. So um, I go back to my clock here. I'm just going to move it forward one more day. And then go back to Injustice 2. And hopefully it force quits on us. There you go. And then we go back to Injustice 2 again. So, uh, again, I'll speed through this portion for you. All right, so we're loading back in again. And you should now see that we're on the next um, reward again. So we should now be on, I think it was 3 sim or something like that. That's what I was going to get. Yep, 3 sim. So, if we do that, I'm going to do this one more time just to uh, just to show you. But... If you essentially are trying to get to whatever amount of gems, right, then you want to just keep moving it forward, keep relogging in, and or you know keep keep reloading the app, and then you'll eventually get to whichever you know reward you're trying to get. So I'm going to do it one more time just to get the the next set of gems. I would go to the 25 gems down there, but you see that it's going to take me forever to get down there. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to run through that portion yet. But um, so I'll move it to the fourth. I go back to Injustice 2. It's going to force close on me in about two seconds. One, two. Yep. And then reopen Injustice 2. I'll speed through this portion again. Um, and then I just want to show you that collecting the actual uh, reward that you've gotten works. So give me one second. I'll just speed through this. All right. So we're loading back in one more time here. Um, and as soon as it pops up, we should be on our gems to collect. Boom. Right here. Gems. So... In the background, you can faintly see that I currently have 155 gems. So this time we're actually going to collect this one. You could have, you know, like I said, I could have gone all the way to 25 gems, but that takes a lot of time and I'm not going to do it for this video. But um, as soon as you see me collect this, you'll see the gems in the background that I actually have on my account go from 155 to 160. So let's go ahead and push claim. 
boom, plus five gems, taking a minute to load, but there, now I'm at 160. Um, they are spendable, you know, that you don't lose them when you relog on, nothing like that. And then you're free to go ahead and change your time settings back to automatic. Boom, boom, boom. And then when you go back to your page, everything's still there. You don't have to force quit. You can just continue play. So for the next one, um, for this one, I had already collected my, my daily reward, so I couldn't do the, the glitch to show you. So I created a secondary account. So I'm going to swap over to my main account now and show you the second glitch. So I'm back on my main account now. And uh, I just wanted to clarify for that first glitch that I just showed you, the daily logon glitch, you are not getting each of the rewards on the way to the one you actually claim. You're just getting the reward that you actually claim. So don't think you're, you know, getting every single one when you're skipping them. You're just skipping them and then just claiming the one that you actually want, the higher value ones. So for the next one, I want to show you how the clock functionality actually works in Injustice 2. Because you have to understand that to be able to do this next glitch. It's very simple, but you just need to understand. So there are three different sets of timers in Injustice 2. So you've got the objectives timer right here, right? And it resets at midnight every night. No matter what's going on at midnight, your time, it resets. So there's the midnight counter. Then there's the, I like to call it the how long since timer. And the how long since timer is the stuff like the operations and the store. So if you go to an operation or the store, actually, let's go and do the store real quick. Um, if you look at your basic chests, so if we go ahead and open our basic chest, you'll see that after this goes, okay, finish. You can see here that the countdown timer is a how long since timer. It essentially says, how long has it been since he pushed the get now button? And it's not related to any clock functionality or anything. It's just your game knowing that you clicked it three hours ago. So it's not got anything to do with whether it's midnight or whatever. It's just saying, you know, countdown from three hours, go. So that's the how long since timer. So the last timer is associated with the Injustice 2 servers. So that clock is set by their servers, and that's the only time it's going by. It's not going by what time it is in your area. It's not going by how long it's been since you've logged on. It's literally just going by as soon as that server says it's time to do something, it's time to do something. And what I mean by that is the arena mode and the challenge mode. Um, challenge mode and arena both end at a specific time. So right now it says 5 days, 19 hours which is, for me, that's midday six days from now. For somebody else, it might be midnight six days from now. It's, you know, depending on their time zone. So it's got nothing to do with, you know, your time. It's literally only the time that is associated with the Injustice 2 servers. So let's talk about which ones we can mess around with and which ones glitches will work for. So the first set that we're going to look at are the based on a time uh, cooldown timers. So if we look at our objectives, currently it says we've got seven hours, 22 minutes until we can get the next set of daily rewards. So if we look through them, pretty much all of them are, are undone right now. If I go ahead and claim my free gems, so again, you're getting gems, stamina, and SIM cards. I'm going to go ahead and claim that. This objective or this daily reward is now complete. Let's do it just a couple of other ones. Um, upgrade any hero's gear. I think I can do that. Mm -mm -mm. Do I have enough for Green my Green Lantern? No, not yet. I need 500. Okay, so let's just upgrade um, our Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Um, we will do your hook because that does damage. Details and level up. Okay. That should be that one done now. And then let's go ahead and re-roll his abilities or his stats here. Um, get free. Nope, I'm still trying to level them up, so I'm going to keep the XP. And then we can just collect these two, right? Awesome. So 
you can see that we've collected two of these and it says that it resets in seven hours, 21 minutes, right? So if we now go back to our clock settings, that is, sorry, that we still have set as automatic and manually change the time, Mm -mm -mm. let's just move it forward like four hours let's say right and then we flip back over to injustice 2 you would kind of expect to see the reset timer go from seven hours to something higher up right to three hours or two hours or whatever you moved it to this isn't the case though because it's not based on the time that you're in it's based on the time zone that you're in so messing around with date and time manually right here doesn't do any other glitches. Look, it's you can see right here, it's not going to do anything. And it's not going to change your objectives. It's not going to move any of your other timers up. If you go back to the home, you can see that nothing has changed. Like all of the expiration timers and everything is still in the same um, position as it was before we moved the date and the time here. So... If we go back over to our clock, and I'm just going to reset my time here, and instead of actually manually changing the date and the time, you change your time zone, then you can see if we just move this, I'm in Florida right now, so let's do um, England, right? We'll do, we'll do London. That is five hours ahead of me. So if I go over to Injustice now that I'm five hours ahead, you can see that under my objectives, my time has changed. And this applies for all midnight-based uh, timers. So this is, the midnight-based timers are, I'll have these in the description below so you don't have to remember, they are the daily objectives timers. They end right at midnight and refresh. They are the campaign timers, which if you go to the campaign and go to heroic m missions, mm -mm -mm you'll see that uh, you, you only get three daily victories per each heroic mission, uh, and they refresh at midnight. So that's another midnight timer. That's midnight timer two. And then the third, um, the third midnight timer is, again, the resource missions, because these flip over right at midnight to the next day. So that all being said, how do you utilize it? You simply just swap your time zone to something that's already in the next day. So obviously today for me is May 24th. I want to find a time zone that's in May 25th. Now, uh, just to go to the time zone map here, um, this is essentially a map of all the time zones in the world. And the one that we're most interested in, or the one that I would suggest using, is the one that is furthest ahead of anybody in the world. And that is the one that is on the furthest east of the world, and that is the top right of Russia, and that is Petro plus Flavlik Krem Kremshirechki, whatever. Anyway, that one is going to always be the furthest forward in the day out of any time zone, because it's plus 12 hours from England, which is zero, basically, in the world, if you guys don't know about time zones. So anyway, you don't need to know about that. Just know that you need to use the, any time zone that is in tomorrow. I always pick the same one, and that is always this crazy name right here, Petro Pavlosk, Kem, whatever, that one. Um, because I know that it's going to be as far forward as I can possibly get. So if we go to our time zone, and we reset it to, instead of London, we'll do Russia... And we'll just pick the, the crazy looking name one here and go back to Injustice now. You can see that daily rewards have been refreshed. Going to force close the app and then you open up Injustice 2 again. Now you will get daily rewards um, again, a second time. Uh, and again, you can use that first glitch that I just showed you to um, get your daily awards. I'm not going to get them this time because I have already collected for both yesterday and today, today. So you can now see, though, that I go to my objectives and they've all refreshed. You can see that my um, role for any hero's random talent 
is still unchecked, and my upgrade any heroes gear once is still unchecked. And you can see that my timer up at the top says that the um, that the daily rewards re or the daily objectives or whatever reset in 15 hours because I'm all the way up into around 8:50 in the morning in plus whatever Russia. <laughs> so you can claim any rewards. Boop, boop, boop. You see that I just got more gems, and you can again do this those same rewards again. So I'm gonna do the same uh, objectives again. I'm gonna go to my scarecrow and look at his talents, and they're they're back to being able to be re rerolled again. So I'll do another get free, and got one percent health. Nope, want to keep the current one. But again, I get the objective, and I can do if I wanted to. I could upgrade his um, his gear again as well. But anyway, so. You can also see that the resource missions have gone from the tech missions on Wednesday to the meta class missions on Thursday. So you can now complete your meta missions as well. So you can get your meta missions out of the way as well. Or not your meta, your, your next day missions out of, out of the way as well. Uh, and then the last thing that you're going to be able to do is your campaign missions. And you can see on your campaign missions, if you do a heroic one that those timers have refreshed as well. So all three of those, it's the objective timer, the count or the campaign timer, and the resource missions timer that reset. Let's talk about the other timers. The store and arena hours timers, you'll see that, so it still says that I've got about two hours and 43 minutes-ish uh, until I can get another free chest. And that's because this timer is a how long since timer, and you can't tamper with those. It's, it's as far as I'm aware, there are no glitches that exist to be able to tamper with the how long since timers. So th that applies to the chests in the store. It applies to the timers on the hero shards in the store. It applies to the arena shards as well. Um, you may be able to see that I still have a, uh, a countdown timer on my arena store. Yeah, I still have three hours until I can purchase another one of these, um, horrific scarecrow pieces. Same with the gear, obviously. Anything with that countdown timer, and as well as all of those, it applies to operations as well, sadly. I wish it didn't, but it does. You cannot speed up operations using any of these glitches. Um... Might have already all been complete. I should have tested that and shown you, but um, operations will not speed up either. So then the last timer type was that one that we said that's based on the server. And if we go and look at our arena um, timer here, it still says, as soon as it loads, it still should say, I think it was five hours or five days, 19 hours. Yeah, it still says it's five days, 19 hours. So it's based on the server timer as opposed to something that I can manipulate manually. Same with the challenges here. If there was a challenge available, it, we can't manipulate the time for that either. So the only glitches that you can utilize are the ones for the objective timer, the campaign timer, and the resource missions timer. All three of those can be reset to the next day just by moving your time zone to something that already is in the next day. Now, what I do want to let you know is that you are utilizing tomorrow's stuff. So what I mean by that is if you go ahead and do all of your objectives for tomorrow, if you go ahead and do those today, right? If you do them tomorrow, or <laughs> getting tongue twisted here. If you do the objectives for tomorrow, then when tomorrow actually comes, you won't be able to do any of them. They'll already be completed for you. The same with the um the daily rewards so the log on rewards right if you collect your daily log on rewards for tomorrow then when tomorrow actually comes you won't get a daily reward for that day because you've already collected it so the usefulness for this is if you are needing an extra 30 or 60 gems because again remember you can use that daily log on glitch to get the 25 gems every time, and then you get the 30 free gems from here. So essentially you could get up to, in one day, you could get up to about basically 100 free gems. But 
obviously tomorrow you won't get anything because you have collected all of your daily rewards. So if you are maybe, like for me, I'm off by 10 gems to be able to purchase a hero chest. So if you want, you could reset your timer, get the daily rewards, and then, you know, right now be able to still buy a hero chest. So that's what this glitch is good for. Essentially, if you know you're not going to be able to play tomorrow, or if you know that you're, or if you just want extra um, stamina or something like that, that you know you're going to get overnight anyway, you can just relaw, or you can change your time to tomorrow. You can get your stamina right now, continue playing, and then go to sleep, and you can have full stamina when you wake up. Something along those lines. There's a lot of utility for it. J I just don't want you guys freaking out when you know tomorrow comes and you don't have any of your. Uh, objectives available or any of your um, your uh, resource missions available to play or anything like that. Know that this works on both Android and iOS. Um, you just have to understand exactly how it works so that you can you know play it or use it, utilize it properly. So that is it for this video, guys. If y'all have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you know of any other glitches, please let me know. If you like the video, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video, hopefully with more glitches. <laughs> Peace, guys. All right, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the glitches video. Um, for the giveaway, I got a whole bunch of stuff at MegaCon for y'all. So let me show you what I got. These are four separate giveaways, so we got four chances to win. And we have a few items here. Cat is checking one of them out. Hi, kitty. Oh. Anyway. Uh, okay, so for subscribers, we have the Reverse Flash. It's a Pop Funko. Hopefully you guys know what these are. There are collectible um, figurines. You can leave them in the box or take them out. You guys know that I got a whole bunch of them up here. I'm one of those people that takes them out of the box, so someone's going to hate me for that, obviously. Uh, but yeah, Reverse Flash. Finally got one. <laughs> um, and then also, this it's, you can't really see it in this kind of light, but it's a really cool um, Batman poster where... It's really 3D, and as you move left and right, it goes Batman to Joker. Um, so for the Batman poster and the Reverse Flash, all you have to do is be a subscriber, and in the comment section below, just let me know. Someone You have to post in the comment section to be in the running for it. Just let me know what kind of content you want on this channel. That's as simple as it is. Just say, I want more Injustice uh, 1 videos, Injustice 2 videos. I want you to do app reviews, whatever you want. It can be whatever you like. Um, as long as you let me know, I can take that into consideration, as well as you'll be in the running for these two pieces of uh, merch. Then for my lovely Patreons, um, I have the, this is a Joker um, exclusive piece, and it's like a metallic coat on a, um, on a canvas. So it's freaking awesome. And we also have another set of items here, and that is the Joker Pop Funko, the Batman Pop Funko, and the Robin Pop Funko. Now, these are all the 60s versions, which are awesome, but also the Robin Pop Funko has now been vaulted and is um, listed at $60. So, it's a pretty good little set of Pop Funkos if you can have them all. For those, you just have to be um, a Patreon at the um, giveaway level and post a comment in the section or in the comment section of this video, uh, again, letting me know what you'd like to see on my channel. I'll be doing a, a drawing for all of the pieces, uh, both Patreon and uh, subscribers. Uh, I'll be doing the drawing for all of them on Sunday the 4th. So just make sure you're a, um, a subscriber or a Patreon by the 4th and have uh, listed in the comments what you want to see on my channel and you are a, will be in the running for the pieces. Alrighty y'all, well I hope you enjoy the glitches and uh, I wish you the best of luck and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Say bye Toto.